In the United States, Windsor McKay had gained fame through his Little Nemo and Slumberland comic strip. In 1911, he brought his characters to the screen and set a standard of artistry and fluid action that would not be surpassed for 20 years. McKay's work inspired many others who followed with the hopes of entering this fascinating new field. John Randolph Bray was a cartoonist from Detroit who saw McKay's first works and realized the commercial potential. But he also realized a need for greater efficiency in production. Since McKay drew the characters and backgrounds for each frame, his methods were too laborsome and time-consuming. At first, the solution was found by printing the backgrounds on each drawing. Bray refined the process by inking the backgrounds onto a clear sheet of celluloid and laying it over the animation drawings inked on paper. The cell overlay technique was realized at the same time by another cartoonist, Earl Hurd. Hurd's concept used individual cells of the animation drawings placed over a single illustrated background. Both men realized the value of this concept and combined their patents to form the Bray Heard Process Company in 1914. This became the standard animation technique used for the next 80 years, and animation studios paid a license to use cells until the patents expired in 1932.